Hello beautiful ones. I hope that you have had a lovely week and are looking forward to a new one. Thank you so much for joining me this week here on my channel. If you are new here, my name is Leisha and I have been documenting my own personal leveling up a journey. So I'm specifically working on becoming more elegant, becoming feminine and also affluent as a woman and I upload every single week. So if you have not already, please subscribe if you would like to follow along. I am happy to share this week with you some of my must read books if you're on a leveling up journey, if you're just getting started especially with working on your mindset and these books that I'm sharing, there there's so many different facets to leveling up, but these books are specifically geared more towards your mindset and having a personal growth mindset. For me, that was such an important foundation to have right off of the bat. And so it's a rainy day here and for one thing, I know that when it's raining, especially on the weekends, it's so nice to just cozy up and pick up one of my books and have an extended reading period. I do read almost every single day and I would encourage all of you, especially if you're just starting out on your journey, to make reading a habit. I will also mention that I like to read audiobooks or listen to audiobooks when I am going for a walk or doing workout sessions on the treadmill. So if you're not a big reader yet, I would encourage you to at least take on some of these in the audiobook format. And I have a full list of books. Of course, these are not the only books I've read, but all of the books that I list at the link in my description are books that I have actually read and I have received a lot of value in my own life from. And one last word I'll say before I start going through each of these books and telling you why they're so meaningful and helpful to me is I'll say that you know, it is important to take action on what you're reading and what you're listening to. If it's something that you find you resonate with and you see someone who is walking that path and working on a similar goal as you, you have to actually take action. And no matter how many books you read or podcasts you listen to, YouTube videos you watch, if you don't actually put what you learn into practice, then you get nowhere. And so, Let's go ahead and let me go ahead and tell you what books I have on this list to get you started and why they have been so powerful and helpful towards me. The first book I wanted to share is The Cashflow Quadrant. If you follow me on Instagram, I think I have mentioned this book at some point. Rich Dad, Poor Dad is also a complimentary book to this one. And in fact, I do recommend reading that first if you haven't already. But the reason why I am mentioning Cashflow Quadrant first is because after I started reading Cashflow Quadrant, I realized that this is really, this is really the blueprint and gives you the mindset behind how to build financial freedom and wealth. It's, it's not just your book that is a lot of fluff, but it really made me think about how I needed to work through the types of income that I generate and what I need to do with that income once I'm generating it and that sort of thing. So I really highly recommend the cash flow quadrant. It's there's there's a lot I think of financial like personal financial content and books that you can read and you've heard of me talk about I will teach you to be rich a lot if you've been around here. That's great for personal finance. Cash flow quadrant is really about building real wealth and how the wealthy achieve that and it's it's not something that you're going to learn in school. It's not something maybe that your parents have taught you about how to, uh, how to manage your money and how to grow your money and what types of cash flow are important for building wealth. So it was actually pretty eye-opening for me to read that. And I finished reading this last month, I think. So it's still really fresh in my memory. Again, Cash Flow Quadrant is one of my must reads for you to understand the critical details that are required if you want to build wealth sooner rather than later. It's not going to teach you about putting money in your 401k and waiting until you retire to be able to enjoy that wealth. This is for this is for those of us who are married maybe, who are working together with a partner. Or if you're in your 20s, I wish I would have read this in my 20s because I would have set myself up much differently income-wise and investing-wise 
10 years earlier and then so much further ahead. The second book that I wanted to bring up that I have not seen a lot of people in the personal growth growth or personal development space recommend is called The Success Principles by Jack Canfield. And this is a very thick book, so you could probably pick this one up and be reading it for the rest of the year. I have highlighted and underlined so much in this book that I typically, this is one that I will pick up and go back to a lot of these principles. And I think that these are success principles that are so important, whether you're leveling up or not to live by, you will find that there's a lot of inspiration and a lot of really good mantras and principles that you can pick up and, and you can even journal on them. So you could go through these in your journaling time and really write out and, and work out what that looks like for you in your life. But this book is essential. And I think that it goes through a lot of different facets that of course apply to working on your mindset and how you deal with other people and relationships and everything that you need to consider and implement in your life to become a successful person is in this book. So this would actually be one book that I would recommend picking up if you have not done any work on your mindset and ingraining principles of success into your life. So The Success Principles by Jack Canfield, highly, highly recommend. The third book I wanted to mention that would be in my starter library for a leveling up mindset especially is Awaken the Giant Within by Tony Robbins. Say what you want to about Tony Robbins, whether you're a fan or not, I still think that this book is really, really essential for us ladies that need to understand more about how our psychology works. This book helped me to actually get past the point of where I consistently was making goals and I had dreams and I knew sort of what I wanted to be accomplishing, but there was still so much that was holding me back. I had a lot of limiting beliefs. I believed a lot of negative things about myself or just about the, the things that people maybe had perspectives on me in general that I would live by and let kind of rule my life. So this book has practical exercises. It's again, a larger book, but I read this really quickly because it really resonated with me and where I was in working on my thinking and my mindset. So this will really transform your mind and allow you to put into practice the steps that you need to take in order to get to where you can truly take the actions that you want and know so desperately you need to take but have just been held back. So again, Awaken the Giant Within by Tony Robbins I think is excellent for anyone who needs to really get get down and do some deep inner work on their level up journey. The fourth book on my list of must reads is Woman Code by Elisa Vitti. And she is the CEO and founder of an organization or a business called Flow Living, where she helps women who have various issues, various feminine issues. Maybe they have bad acne, maybe they have PCOS, or they have fertility issues, things like that. My therapist actually recommended this book to me when I was discussing my struggle with hormonal cystic acne and also working on improving my anxiety holistically. So I picked up this book and could not put it down. I've actually read it through a couple of times just as a reference again. It, I think that this book goes into a lot of details and gives you a new way of thinking about being feminine and having a cycle and working your life around that, solving weight gain issues, and thinking about that a little bit differently as a woman. And so I haven't talked a lot about health on this channel yet, but it's a really big part of my story and my level up journey. And so that's why I have a woman code on my reading list for you ladies who are on a leveling up journey and who are wanting to really take hold of your femininity and learn more about the physical side of that. But this book will also give you, I think too, some spiritual insights into your femininity as well. So pick it up. I don't want to give too much away, but this has been a game changer for me personally. 
Now the fifth book that I wanted to recommend, I actually don't have with me because I've loaned it to a friend, but it's called The Five Love Languages by Gary Chapman. And I think that if you have not read this book yet and you are planning on getting into a serious relationship, you're in a serious relationship, maybe you're married like I am, The Five Love Languages is a must read. And I think that for personal development, the reason why I recommend this book is because it's important to be able to understand how to interact and show love to our partners. The partners that we have in our lives and our spouses are such a large influence on our leveling up journey. And so if you're wondering in your mind, how do I get on the same page as my spouse? Start with learning how to show love and how to receive love from them. And so this book will go over of course, the five love languages and what they are and how you can practically uh, show your spouse love depending on their love language. So highly recommend the book. Again, I don't want to give everything away, but it is a must read for sort of my starter library on your mindset and personal development and growth if you're on a leveling up journey. And that wraps up the five books that I would recommend for the rest of the year if you are on a leveling up journey, especially if you are just starting out. One thing I wanted to mention before we close is that I see a lot of women who are starting on their leveling up journeys and the first thing we all tend to gravitate towards is personal image and grooming, you know, hair, makeup, and clothing but I wanted to remind you how important it is to work on your mindset and there's a lot to be accomplished for a very low investment through reading books. And so that's what I really did last year. I focused a lot on my mindset and improving that and putting into action the things that I was learning. It's hard work. It can be very hard work to dig within yourself and change some of those things that have been ingrained in you since you were very young for many of us. But the more that you read, the more you learn, the more you apply, the easier then it gets to build that wealth, to change your image, and to not be afraid of going out there and going after your big goals. So no matter what that may be, it's important to start off with a good foundation uh, here in your mind. So thanks again for watching. I will also be back next week with another video. It's kind of a fun topic. I have been cleaning out my closet lately, purging my closet. My husband has been renovating the closet so that we, I will have a nice place to store things, especially with adding a baby to our family. Um, and so I've had things that I realize I have kept and I have not purged and they might not be very elegant. So I want to share what those non-elegant items are and tell you a little bit about why I'm keeping them for the time being. And I think that will be a lot of fun. As I look back on the past year still, I'm doing a little bit of reflecting and realizing that there are still some things that I have to do, you know, to purge out of my closet, but that will be what I share next week. So stay tuned. Thanks again for watching. I will see you in the next video. Bye.